Today I'm going to be building... Oh, you got to be kidding me. God damn it. Fucking capture failed. Ugh. <sighs> okay, well, here we go again. Today I'm going to be building. Oh, great! Not not the audio. Not 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 the audio this time. No, no, don't, don't fail! Don't fail! Oh, god damn it, motherfucker! I think I'm gonna lose both. No, 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 no! Don't audio fail. No, video, don't fail. Don't, 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 don't. Yeah. Oh shit! I'm surprised I keep going this long. Keep, no, no, no! Don't do that. Don't do. No, no, do, do, do. just a little more. Just a little more. Stay. Ah, yeah. oh, crap! No! Okay, well, let's hope that this is going to record. Let's give it a few seconds. Okay, well, before I actually get to the project, let me actually go around my Minecraft world and fill in the rest of my map. And as I do that, I'm going to explain what this is going to be about. By now, everyone's heard of the whole ad block thing. It's never going to stop being a thing, so it has to be talked about here on YouTube. I am a person that actually loves adblock, despite the fact that I'm making content on YouTube. And the reason is, is that as of late, YouTube's advertisements have essentially been making the whole site freeze. I can't watch the content through uh, any of the advertisements because the video just crashes. And I'm a firm believer that if something actually makes something less convenient and more problematic, that you should essentially just kind of get rid of it. So I can't force YouTube to take down their advertisements. I don't have that kind of corporate conglomerate or any power over that. So, for that reason alone, I actually use Adblock. Ooh, I know, what a horrible person admitting to using Adblock. Well, yes, I'm using Adblock because the horrible advertisements have actually turned the whole service of YouTube into something that sucks. YouTube, at one point in time, had very minimalized advertisements that did not interfere or interrupt the video in any shape or form. I was fine with that. The instant that YouTube started making advertisements that essentially made their whole videos on the entire sites unwatchable is the second I started looking for something that would block these advertisements. <sighs> and I try to stay out of politics on the, my gaming channel because I, I prefer it just to be a gaming channel. <sighs> Having said that, I am not a fan of corporations by and large. I mean, I'm aware that this is an Xbox 360 and I'm playing Minecraft and none of this stuff could exist without corporations. But, I'm... I'm not big on the whole advertising thing on anything that's a paid service. If you pay for a service, I don't believe in any form of advertisements. The internet is not a free service. I would be completely fine and fine with them making the entire internet services free for everyone. You know, plaster the whole thing with advertisements. Let everyone have free get free internet connections. But if you're not willing to actually give me any level of free service for it, then no, I don't 
believe in essentially paying for it. And the whole argument of, hey, websites cost money, websites cost money. Yes, but essentially driving away users is not a good way to do it. YouTube previously to this had a rather modest level of advertising. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't something that screwed with the site, either internally or externally. It didn't screw with the videos as much. And now you have to see a video in between the beginning of a video. You have to see, no, you have to see an advertisement at the beginning of a video. You have to see an advertisement in the middle of a video. And then sometimes, depending on how long the video is, you have to see an advertisement at the end of the video. Way too much advertising. I'm not particularly a fan of it. I've never been a fan of advertisements that don't benefit the end user. It's the reason why I gave up on cable TV. I'd probably watch cable TV two, maybe three times a year. That's about it. And usually over someone's house. I'm not big on TV. I mean, yes, there are TV shows I I love, or TV shows I used to love, <laughs> probably getting rid of. Uh, let's see, House is one that they recently just uh, finished up. And when I say finished up, they did not cancel it. It, uh, well, yes, they did. They, um, they had their final episode, and it wasn't, like, canceled before its time is what I mean. And the whole process of uh, oh God, what is that show? Uh, Falling Skies. That show is still running, uh, but you know, it's not worth sitting. For, uh, TV generally isn't worth it if you're trying to watch a 30-minute program and have two hours of essentially commercials. You know, it's. I think George Carlin put it best when he said, "Drink this, drive that." Fuck you, they don't care. You know, His whole thought of advertisements was pretty much more or less on the money. But I'm just not a fan of it. And when it starts to actually harass the end user, that's when I start to have problems with it. So, yeah, that's my whole attitude towards the whole ad block thing. So before I get too far into this, let me tell you what the project is. I'm trying essentially to make, well, every evil genius has their own lair, and that's essentially what I'm trying to have. Now, be it a castle in the sky, an underground fortress, or an underwater fortress, depending on who your evil genius is, I need a fortress. So... Until I have an official name for it, it's just essentially going to be called a mega structure. And for the reason being is that, well, it's it's going to be big. It's going to be really, really, really fucking big. So this is going to take quite some time. And uh, essentially it's going to take such a long amount of time. I try to keep these under an hour, basically. Yeah, that's not going to happen. That's really, really not going to happen. Matter of fact, the first part is going to be so long, I wouldn't be surprised if this came out in 2015. This video is more or less being taped spring of 2014 and I'm not going to put out any other Minecraft videos until this is out so <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if my channel went dark for a while oh at least for Minecraft Mondays like where did it go where did your new show go oh the massive production of this is going to be insane all those cuts from the fucking technical difficulties are going to be a pain in the balls. Ah, uh, Wait. I just thought of a problem. They didn't update this yet, did they? I mean, they didn't give us the full redstone 
update. There's no daylight sensor. Fuck. Fuck. I can't put in the door I wanted. God damn it. God fucking damn it. No door. Well, I can look at the bright side. This is going to take me a long, long, long fucking time to do. Matter of fact, this is going to take so fucking long that... Yeah, just checking. Daylight sensor. Yeah. Great. No daylight sensor. Well, what I'm going to do is to speed up to, uh, speed up the project a little bit, I'm going to use a TAD TNT. What this will do is this will make it so I don't have to dig out everything. I'm just going to dig around the entire perimeter and then lay down a whole bunch of bedrock. And then what that will do is it'll only blow up the surrounding blocks I don't need or want. And using bedrock should, in theory, because TNT has never blown up the way I wanted it to, <sighs> should, in theory, blow up everything that I don't need or want. I'm not doing this for mining purposes. Mm, let's just say I'm going to blow up the unwanted un and unneeded bits. That sounds dirty. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm going to use lots of TNT. I'm going to put it all the way to the sky. Well... At least I know where my roof is going to be. Wow. They really increased the uh, ceiling on Minecraft. Okay. It just keeps going. I honestly am beginning to wonder at what point will it just stop and say, No, your TNT is too high. Oh, ten bucks says this crashes it. Uh, yeah. If this doesn't crash the entire Minecraft world, I'm going to be surprised. God. It's gonna go into space. <laughs> oh. I would not want to do this in any other mode except creative mode. Killing these many creepers would be insane. Plus it would drive me crazier. <laughs> uh, okay, can't put any more. I'm probably going to delete at least a few of these on the very top so that it doesn't go all the way to the sky maybe don't know being indecisive so bedrock bedrock ah here we go yeah I need somewhere where it's going to be like, essentially this is, I need to figure out what's going to be the ground floor of this, or at least the leveled floor of this. <clears throat> so I'm using the bedrock. Why do I keep falling in holes? 
I'm using this bedrock here to kind of establish where the ground level is. Otherwise, it's going to be very, very difficult to build the rest of this. <sighs> Here's the annoying bit. Always trying to get rid of trees that are in the way. It's easier in creative mode because you can just one hit it on the blocks, but still, it leaves. Okay. It's still in the way. In the way. The rest will just disappear. So. Alright. That should be good enough. What I'm thinking about doing later on is I'm thinking of making a rail system to my mega structure, and I want to put that on bedrock so that if I decide to like blow up the building, the only thing that's going to pop is maybe some rails, but not the actual block itself. It's, it's more to protect the block rather than to protect the actual rails. And I'm trying to get a figure or estimate to see how big I need this, because it, it's going to be a massive structure. So, I also need to connect this to the active, to the current rail system, or at least connect the uh, bedrock to it this will do is this will actually give me a, a direct way to connect the rails or an indirect way to connect the rails. I'm not really sure how I'm going to work that out yet. I seriously doubt that when I do decide to connect the rails that it's probably going to be off screen. Not everything I do in this world is going to be on screen for the reason being that I'm on Minecraft pretty frequently because of the updates. I don't record on Minecraft because every day because that would drive, that would uh, cause my hard drive to gain sentience and essentially try to murder me. And I am not willing to actually recreate every bad sci-fi movie in real life. So because of my unwillingness to do that, it's, it's gonna be a bit shorter, you know? And uh, I'm not gonna record everything. Why are there always trees in the way? <sighs> Wait, what? I only put torches in places I've been. Why are there torches here? I do not remember being in here, and yet I see torches. Okay, this is weird. Are those more torches? No, they're just the same ones. Okay, delete. And delete. Okay. Creepy torches are creepy. <sighs> Alrighty. And getting back to building. I hate it when that happens. You know that hill is going to become really, really annoying. Especially when I build the damn rail system. Building rail systems is are, are really annoying for how I prefer to do it. I prefer to leave some kind of way that the uh, furnace minecarts can actually make it uphill because I like those little things. I'm aware that everyone likes powered rails, but <sighs> until I have a way to actually have it automatically turn off and on, uh, I'm a person that doesn't like the whole button switch system. You know, I mean, oh, you can open your door as soon as, uh, as, soon as you hit a button or you can have it flip a switch and leave it open. Uh, yeah. I am not fond of the whole idea of 
doors using the button system because you press the button and then you get stuck in between the door and a block. <sighs> Next thing you know, you're taking damage from a door that you just wanted open long enough to go through it. So not having the entire <sighs> daylight sensor thing is an annoyance. Big annoyance. So what I'm going to do is as soon as as soon as I have it this uploaded and recorded and edited and all the other crap, I will then record part two. Part two will have all of I'll have all of that daylight sensor stuff. I'm gonna wait until the, and it's probably not gonna come out until that is out anyway, and I don't see myself, I don't see my lazy ass actually getting this done before the daylight sensor is out. Uh. This is like the only thing I'm pissed off at <laughs> those PC gamers. <laughs> I could give a shit less about the redstone block, which is wither or any other mob or anything else anyone whines about. Eh, there's no horses. There's no horses. Really? Screw Doc. <laughs> Screw the, the the damn speaking horse, you know? I've had enough of Mr. Ed. Just give me something that's solar powered, something that doesn't require a switch. Give me a door that I don't have to touch. I don't have to attach a button or a switch that makes that annoying button or switch thing. It's it's cringe worthy. Anytime I use one of those, I feel like apologizing to my audience. Oh. This is going to be extremely annoying. I don't know what's worse dealing with the trees, or the fact that I actually have more or less put this out in a snow biome. So I have to deal with the trees and snow, increasing the amount of time this is going to take. You know, as soon as I have daylight sensors, I'm going to put a shitload of redstone lamps all along those daylight sensors in the hope I can turn them on without the extra use of redstone and if I can if I can it's also going to melt the snow every time the sun comes up at least near where the rails are and I know that snow does not collect on rails I'm aware but this snow shit is annoying the living out of me. Well, you see, my idea with the redstone, other than turning the well, rails on and off, under, is making a sliding Fuck. door. Fuck me. I'm thinking that tree. while making the sliding door, I'll probably have to use sticky pistons and get really creative. This is about the definition it. of annoyance. So, really, yeah. Is. Fucking trees again. God fucking damn. Mm. Why is there only an axe and not a buzzsaw in this game? Every five fucking minutes, there's another tree. Okay. <sighs> Can't wait until... It... Oh! Finally reached TNT. <sighs> Took long enough. Also not a fan of my avatar. At least I can fix that. Maybe by next video I'll actually have uh, one of those avatars that you pay for. Cause I'm not a fan of the, of the default ones. And now I'm making the perimeter. Or at least get some idea of the size of it. And, you know, 
I gotta be a genius for putting this in the middle of a snow biome in a forest. This would have been easier to do in the middle of this desert. Yep. I'm a genius. I'm so intelligent, it's actually hurting myself. Getting these blocks right is always a pain. Now, at some point, I'm just going to put this through a tree. Which is what I'm probably going to have to do. Yeah, the way I see it is the TNT should get rid of these trees. I say should, because TNT never does what I want it to do. Oh yeah, it'll blow up. It will blow up. In random places. Cow. Great. Yeah. Flying is sometimes annoying. This is so I can get some idea of what it's going to look like. Um, shit. That doesn't look right. Fix that. Uh, no. Try and line it up. You know, it would have been smarter just to. Damn it. It would have been smarter just to start. Damn, again. It would have been smarter just to do it from under the block. At least doing it this way, I should protect everything outside of the mega structure. No. To prevent myself from losing even further members of the audience, I have opted out to, well, to fast forward the first episode, or at least what's left of it, because this is going to take a while. I don't have the patience to edit this for too much longer. And it's just going to irritate me further if I keep on talking. So rather than hearing me slowly go further insane, I'm just going to fast forward my insanity. <laughs> 